a lot of African leaders are wizards and witches. Yes, I want to draw your attention to one or two things. When I say a lot of leaders in Africa are witches and wizards, including a lot of people in Africa are claiming to be witches and wizards in which they rather don't know they are witches and wizards. My reason is, you can see some leaders feel happy, comfortable, seeing their fellow human beings moving in poverty, trials, pain, tragedy, and they become happy, enjoying with their side chicks, enjoying with their families. If you are not selfish, every wizard, every witch is a selfish. If you are not selfish, you will not behave such a selfish attitude, feel comfortable, while other fellow members, human beings, are even lying bare, bare floor outside because they don't have a place to sleep. There are some, a lot of leaders in Africa, they feel comfortable. A lot of people doesn't have even a daily meal to eat, but they enjoy in restaurants. This is very painful. I want to draw your attention to tell you that if such attitudes are in you, you are becoming a wizard or a witch. Yes, if you see your fellow human being being happy and you feel sad because someone is very happy, then you are a witch or a wizard. The attitude in we Africans, we have a lot of things in our country. You can mention Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, Benin, Togo, Sudan, Morocco, and all those countries in Africa. We have a rich land, rich culture. We have gold, we have diamond, we have timber, but yet there are a lot of poverty in our country. You can see and show that our leaders are behaving the attitude of witches and wizards. This is very shameful thing because the attitude of being witch and wizard is we don't think positive things for our fellow people. Every witch or every wizard always think negative acts for the fellow human being. It's only a day to vote for a leader in Africa is whereby they start giving charities or things to our fellow people in Africa. Why this kind of wicked attitude we are in in Africa? Now you can see Guinea in coup d'etat. Mm -hmm. Sudan right now are also facing coup because the youth in this country or the youth in Africa are also feeling pain because our leaders are behaving the attitude of witches and wizards. Why are the youth of Africa, why are we suffering? Because the people, we the people, we have been trained in the attitude of witches and wizards. We see our fellow people suffering, crying in the pain, in the trials, in the tragedy. And the fellow people will be very happy. This is the attitude of our leaders. Look at our chiefs. They sit idle receiving politicians' money and feel comfortable. Enjoying themselves whilst their people in their towns, in their country, are suffering. You are a witch. You are a wizard. Because you are in the behavior of selfish attitude. You see your fellow member in a trials, in trouble, but you doesn't care. Common shelter. Common shelter in Africa is a problem. Common food is a problem in Africa. Common clothing in Africa is a problem. Why? Because our leaders are behaving the attitude of wizards and witches. Our attitude now in Africa is a problem. Why? If you decide to stop, if you decide to make the country neat, the attitude of wizards and witches will flee away. Why are you behaving such an attitude? We are trying to change as youth because we want the future of the youth to have comfortable living, to feel happy, to be in joy. Because if you are in the act or the mood to see your fellow member in joy, you are in the spirit. The, the spirit of wizards and uh, 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 witches 
attitude in you will flee from you, then our, uh, you see our country moving ahead in a positive way. Why are you in the attitude of witches and wizards? Selfish attitude, wicked attitude. That is what we are facing right now in Africa. Why? Africa, Africa, Africa. Why our leaders are behaving such an attitude and selfish behavior? You are in the witches and wizard attitude. We can stop because we are calling for peace. We are calling for riches in our attitude. I'm drawing your attention because we don't want our future youth to suffer. My name is O.T. Emmanuel. You can share this video. Let our leaders, let our people in Africa flee away from the attitude of witches and wizards so that we can move forward, so that we can feel comfortable, not to be running to European countries, Americas, and all these countries. We Africans, we wish to also feel comfortable. We wish to also run away from poverty. We wish to also say the generation also are going to also enjoy. Thanks for sharing this video and you can drop your comments and share and a lot of African members and the youth are ready to run away from poverty. May God bless you if you are ready to change from the wizard and witch's attitude. Bye-bye.